How is your family? Bonjour, good day. Saturday morning update. I've been trying to put this nugget to sleep for about four hours. But he just doesn't want to sleep. He doesn't want to go in his bouncer. He doesn't want to go in his swing. He doesn't want to sleep in bed. Not quite sure what to do, but I'm gonna keep trying. We'll figure this out eventually. Someday daddy's gonna teach you how to do all the things on the computer. Someday, but not today. A little baby boy that was asleep right now would be perfect. Think you can help me out with that? My hope is that now that we've taken a little bit of a break from trying to sleep, we can go back to trying to sleep and that will help. Listen, Daniel, it's the soothing sound of rain that you like so much. Stephanie discovered that we have a bird nest on our porch. But today we don't just have a bird nest, we have a bird. Hi birdie. Please don't dive by me or go in the house. We're gonna go get some packages. Oh, there's like a smash egg. Yeah, I told you. I thought you I thought it was just a dead egg. I didn't know it was like a smash egg. Yeah. <laughs> Hi have, birdie! We have a bird now. Daniel, it's your first pet! I think that bird is a permanent addition to our home. In a moment of brilliant intelligence, I hid the chocolate covered raisins for myself, but now I want them so bad I'm gonna go get them. It is Saturday night and I'm about to go to bed. It's a little bit weird because the last few nights have been so bad at night, but today he's actually been flipping. So tonight's evening was pretty easy, but he didn't get any naps during the day. I mean, he slept like 45 minutes, half an hour total. Such a weird baby. So we spent all of our free time tonight watching Taking Care of Babies, where she walked us through her methodology for sleep training, which is a variation of the cry it out method. So we've got some skepticism around that. But we're going to see if there's anything we can figure out from what she recommends, from her guidance, from her experience, and then try to integrate that into Daniel's experience. Because we've had a couple nights with like four and a half or five hours. We just don't know how to get that reproducibly in a way that we can like have a pattern and have this every night. Because that's really what we need to get to. And I know part of it's just brain development, but hopefully there's things that we can do that will make that better. Steph and I are very excited that if we can get some sleep tonight, the next day or so is going to be super productive. Steph has a video she wants to film. She needs to finish a documentary as well. And I'm going to get to demos with Angular. So excited about that. That's going to be it for me tonight. Good night.